Hi ladies and gentlemen and welcome to IT Snippets. Today I'm going to unbox the 4U case. It's a Cogen V2. That's going to become my DIY rack mount NAS. So let's get started. is very well packed. We just got to hopefully just score the facility. I can't say that's not well packed. So we've got polystyrene in here, which looks like I just left out. Obviously our main case. And polystyrene on the bottom. Now this case weighs 19 kilograms. Empty. So it's not exactly the lightest thing in the world. So I'm expecting this to be built a bit like a beast. So let's get out of the case and find out. Or get it out of the box rather and find out. Okay, let's get the bag off. So the first noticeable thing about this is it feels well built. Like obviously I've barely manhandled it, but like these these feel well built. These handles are definitely metal. So is this. This is plastic. But the chassis is all metal. So that's it here. You can see there's a key for opening and closing the front door. Open that up. Just tip that down a bit. There we go. We have two 120mm fans here. And that's a bit rough, but that's three five and a quarter inch drive bays there. So that one out. On the rear we have two 80mm fans. And a fan splitter. I'll reach in here. Okay, it has sharp edges, so that's not perfect. But again, this isn't the world's most expensive case. This is all the front I/O cables. Let's just tuck them back in there just now, and see how we take this on top off. My guess is it will be a couple of screws. Although I don't see where. Let's 
So it does look like the top part just slides off. Something else I didn't show you is those dust fillers built in the front of the case. So there for the power supply. So it's not them. And the manual appears to be inside it. So I can't really reach in for that. So give me a moment to work this out. Okay, so there's a screw here and a screw here, but they're black and very easy to miss. say here and here. Oh, I put my part straight at the wrong side. And it's the same in the opposite side. Now this should just slide back, which it does, and then I can lift this off. Okay, so we're now inside. So we have a bar here, which I believe is used for cable management. Well, I'm not 100% sure, although I'm not sure what these are for, I have to admit. Answers in the comments. These could be for screwing things into. Again, not 100% sure on that one. However, the main reason I bought this case is there's these drive cages, which don't look very sturdy if I'm being honest, but there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Three five and a quarter inch drives that I pointed out when we opened the front of the case. So there's cables I showed you earlier. So it seeps inside the box. So there's a few motherboard standoffs in here, but not many. We have a speaker. I'm not sure what that is. Looks like more of these things on top, maybe replacement ones. Could be blanking plates. I'm not sure about that one. And baggy of screws. And the manual. So, front IO, we have power and reset, and we have two USB 
hose, I presume. Key lock, air filter, the two 120mm fans that I pointed out. Hard disk drive release module. Okay. For eight three and a half inch drives and the front IO which is then exploded there. Features supports ATX 12 inch CEB 12 inch by 10 inch. That would be ATX 12 inch by 9.6 inch. Horn factor motherboards and a PS2 power supply. Four fans included. Offer expandable cooling capacity for your chassis. HDD support includes 8 times 3.5 inch external and 3 times 5 and a half, 3 times 5 and a half external. Door the front panels lock will keep provided, removable air filter, inside the door can be removed and washed. LEDs to indicate the following machine state, power, HDD, LED, and network interface card. Okay. Installation guide, remove the top. Great, I had to remove the top to get into it, so, you know. Hard drive installation, basically, push these clips and slide the cage out by the looks of it. Ah! So if you push these, you can slide the full module out the front, that's what that's about. As you see, you can roll all four drives out at once. What else is in here? Okay, how to install the drives in the cage. How to install optical disk drives. Although interestingly that's showing three and a half inch drives. Okay, this may not be quite as easy a build as I was expecting, however. And then it shows you motherboard standoffs, apparently it's given us three. Really? There's only three in there. There's one, two, three, four, nah, there's more than three in there, so there must be three spare. Must be in the bag, yes, because it's solid. Yeah, so there's some motherboard standoffs in the bag, yes, because Six smaller ones for the power supply, 20 motherboard ones and 20 hard drive screw ones. There's also six rails for the hard disk drives. Ah, okay. So those will be for placing on the hard disk drives. And then the hard disk drives will go into the chassis, I think. Yeah. Time will tell. Anyway, it's rack mount, it's for you. It's 1.0 SGCC case material, no idea what that is. It's 4U form factor, as mentioned, 2x120 fans in the front, 2x8 in the back, 3 5 and a quarter inch drives, 8, 3 and a half inch drives, 7 expansion slots. And that's pretty much it. So what else can I tell you about this case? Well, this bar appears to be removable, so that's good. That will give me more work when trying to get the motherboard in. Um, but I don't actually know what else, if I'm being honest. I can tell you. So I guess we're just going to have to move forward to the build. Okay, a little addendum to this. You press on these two here, and the hard drive cage slides out. Here's your 120mm fan. However, the power cable for it is literally in here. So that's how you get the drive cages in it. And something I didn't mention previously is it's a standard ATX power supply size. So this should be fun. If you like this video give it a like. If you dislike this video give it a dislike too. If you get feedback on this or any other videos or suggestions for videos you believe you should do in the future then please let us know in the comments below. And most of all Thank you for watching.